Okay, this is a test of my cube camera. The angle, by looking at it right now, looks like it's pointed a little bit to the downward location, but it is a wide angle, so I may be able to take care of that in the editing and then later on re-aim the angle so that it's a little bit better. I'm not sure exactly what it's shooting right now. So anyway, this is the first day of August, and it looks like in the case of the Chicagoland area, that real summer is finally here. Meaning the days are warm but dry. I was getting kind of sick of June and July, these extended months of spring to where you couldn't even go rarely even two days without it raining. And sometimes it was more like every other day raining. now yeah it's even uh, today it's 80 degrees and it actually feels very nice because the humidity is low and doesn't feel all swampy and everything so you don't walk out and feel like you're gonna be in some kind of an Amazon jungle or something like that I'm gonna go up a little ways and take a look and see how the construction is going on the new super Walmart site we have which, believe it or not, Keith and John, it is opening up right across from Burger King so soon. The West Coast chapter of the Bikers of Ill Repute will be able to do the same thing as the uh, headquarters. Be able to go visit Walmart and then go right across the street to Burger King. Not sure if they actually will be doing construction today, but I'm sure the equipment will be set up. They have had that equipment there for about a month now. So we'll get a chance to see what they're actually working on. Hopefully it'll bring a lot of new life to the east side of my town. Most of the uh, Big stores moved way out west to the main north-south Randall Road corridor. And so the east side's been a little bit slow. Not totally dead, though. We still have stuff going on here. I mean, there's the Walgreens over there. Got the Village Fresh Market over there. It's a very nice store. Great produce, fresh fruits, veggies. Okay. Are we going to wake up here? She's looking down, so I don't know what's going on. Looking in the purse, texting, whatever. Um, it looks like we got some activity going over there. Something's going on. So let's check it out. Just the backhoe digging a hole right now. Not sure what that's going to be. I'm not sure if the store is going to be there. The parking lot's going to be on the other side. Safety first. No trespassing. I'm not going to go on gravel anyway. No danger of that. So I don't know what the schedule is. If they're going to get done by this year or not. I'm thinking more they're looking at a 2016 opening of the Super Walmart. It's been delayed several times because of court cases. The other town next to us said that our town did all kinds of nefarious deals and stuff to lure Walmart away. Basically they're just missing the fact that they get about a million bucks in tax money a year. They're going to be losing that. So after three court cases failed, I guess finally that's the end of that. I was going to think if they just keep bringing up lawsuit after lawsuit, pretty soon the judge is going to be kind of pissed off about that and uh, start finding the other town just for bringing up frivolous lawsuits. Oh, somebody's 
Got quite a load of something there. No idea what that is, but a lot of bags they're putting in that truck. They're pretty busy at the little shopping center for a Saturday. Not bad. We'll go back out to the highway. Pass by the Burger King. Still fairly warm with all the concrete around. <sighs> so I went and saw Ant-Man. Actually, a very good movie. I was never really a fan of the Ant-Man comics so much. I've, I've, I read to read a few of them. That would be a, a comic like Captain America that I would buy when I'd read all the um, Batman and the Superman comics and basically just wanted something else to read. I would sometimes buy like uh, Marvel comics, Fantastic Four, Captain America, Ant-Man, stuff like that. So I think probably... If I read any, it would have been maybe two or three at the most of the Ant-Man series, so I'm not really up on it. But as far as the movie, they did that very well. Um, they did say one thing about the movie. If you watch it, you're going to notice that Evangeline Lilly, that plays the older doctor's daughter, has about the most goofy wig you've ever seen somebody wear. I mean, it just makes no sense why she would be wearing it. It looks like a cheap wig, too, but... Other than that, that's uh, the only thing really kind of I considered odd about the movie at all. They set up the characters really well. The story's good. Uh, keeps moving along, and it's a really good blend of action and humor, too. So I can definitely see where they're, at least, at the very least, looking to put a second Ant-Man together. And uh, if that's successful, probably at least three in the series. They also tied Ant-Man in with the rest of the Marvel Universe. So they put that all together. And here is the Burger King. See, there's where the construction is over there. Here's the Burger King, right across the street. Although you won't be able to just cross the street to get to it. The way traffic is here, you'll have to probably go around through this intersection here. Next week I'm going to go see the newer Mission Impossible. I think it's number five. And so far all of them have been pretty good. None of them have been boring. Uh, as goofy as Tom Cruise may be in his personal life, I think he's a pretty decent actor and he can really uh, crank out the action movies really well. And there's none of his action movies that I thought have been uh, really very horrible. Now you look at somebody like uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's kind of been cranking out a lot of movies too, but some of them have been kind of, eh, not really that great. Now when he started in like uh, some of the bigger budget films, they've usually been good, but it seems like he's just uh, taking a lot of movies just to get paychecks, which, hey, can't blame him, it's a job, it's a job and it's money. I know Christopher Lee, before he passed away, talked about that too, that sometimes you just you take movies just to help out the uh, people you know in the, in the movie industry. There were certain films that he would have rather not done, but he knew a lot of the people that did the camera work, the lights, the productions and everything behind the set and to uh, help them feed their families and keep on keeping on. He'd take it even though he could afford to turn them down. I don't think nowadays it really hurts your career as much as the uh, older days back. I think there was that stigma that 30, 40 years ago that if you took roles in a few B-level movies or a few movies that were supposed to be blockbusters that flopped that your career was pretty much over. I don't really think that matters so much anymore. You can just as easily do a flop movie and then have the next one be a huge success.
definitely in Christmas uh, looking forward to the new Star Wars movie. I'm hoping they break out of that cycle from the last three because the last three were definitely way disappointing just because of the fact they were so mediocre. I mean, I think they were relying on the special effects more than the storyline and the acting on that. So we will see.